lunch time. Who's hungry? Plenty for every pony. Slow down, sweetie. <laughs> Here you go, Angel Bunny. Okay, Mr. Picky Pants, you win. Carrots, lettuce, and apples. Yum, yum, yum. What? But... Well, then, what will you eat? I'm not sure I can even make that. I don't want you to starve. Oh, are you sure I can't tempt you with a nice crisp piece of... <sighs> I'll make your special recipe. Hmm, let's see. Asparagus. Excuse me, um, I think you just stepped in front of me. Excuse me, I think you made a mistake. You see, I was actually here first and... Sorry, didn't notice you there. I know. <laughs> oh, pardon me, sir. Yes, it was. I think you just cut in front of me. A cut of celery? This is the asparagus stand. I said, I think you just cut in front of me. Oh, no need, dearie. I'm already in front. <laughs> I noticed. I was like, oh, wow. Well. Hey. Do you mind moving back? You're in my personal space. But seriously, do you need your asparagus so badly? Get a lie. Oh, okay. There's no rush. Fluttershy, you mustn't let them treat you that way. Oh, it's it's really no big deal. It's bigger than big. It's double big. You are a pony with a problem. What problem? <laughs> oh, go right ahead, Pinkie Pie. You first. Right there. That's the problem. You've got to stop being such a doormat. A doormat? A pushover, darling. You've got to stand up for yourself. Promise us. Okay, I promise. Oh, good. Oh, that's okay, I don't mind. Watch and learn. Hold it right there, Mr. Small and Handsome. Uh, who? Me? Oh, of course you. No pony ever called you handsome before. Uh, that'd be a big no. Oh, well, they should. How about flexing some of your muscles for me? <gasps> oh, my heavens! Do you think a strong, handsome stallion such as yourself could give my friend the last asparagus? <laughs> nah. See? That's not so hard, is it? Um, I guess not. All right, then. What else is on your list? Let's see. I also need tomatoes. Here you go. Ahem. That'll be two bits, not one. Oh, but last week it was only one bit. That was then, this is now. Okay. I don't want to argue about it. What do you think you're doing? Mine and my own business. Maybe you should try it. Two bits for tomatoes is outrageous. One bit is the right price. I say it's two bits. One bit. Two bits. One bit. Two bits. One bit. Two bits. Two bits. One bit. Two bits. One bit. I insist it's two bits are nothing. One bit and that's my final offer. Have it your way. One bit it is. <laughs> See? Asserting yourself can be fun. I guess you're right. So, Fluttershy, do you feel like giving it a try? Um, okay. I need that cherry. Boy, am I glad you have one cherry left. You see, I'm making this special meal for my bunny angel. He's a very picky eater, and the recipe calls for a cherry on top. Here you go. So, you say you need this cherry very badly. Oh, yes. I'm desperate for it. Then it'll be ten bits. Ten? Oh, hey, Mr. Handsome. I know you want to do the right thing because you're handsome and, and strong and big. Handsome, strong guys are always nice to every pony, right? Ten bits for the cherry. Ten bits for one cherry is outrageous. I insist on paying you eleven bits. Eleven bits? Um, I mean nine bits. 
Now, wait a minute. Okay, 12 bits, but that's my final offer. I think you're confused. It's 12 bits. Take it or leave it. Okay, I'll take it. Don't give him your money. One cherry is not worth 12 bits. But I was only doing what you did. It was a valiant effort, but you should refuse to give him your business and just walk away. But I can't let Angel starve. He won't eat it unless I make it just right. I need that cherry no matter what it costs. In that case, 20 bits. 20? Oh, but I don't have that much. Then why are you wasting my time? I'll give you two bits for that cherry. So, that's a break, kid. Next time, don't be such a doormat. <laughs>